When setting up your air system, you need a main pipe to carry the air, but also connections along the way for air hoses and machines. Drops are connection points called outlets that are typically four feet above the finished floor and below the main line. To add an outlet, click the object labeled Drop with your left mouse button and click again where you would like to place it. Put it on a pipe. Outlets come in a variety of combinations, but all are pipe thread, so they are easily adapted to quick couplers and air hoses. Most outlets have an option for a shutoff valve, which allows you to shut the air off when not in use, or when an air hose breaks. All of our outlets have moisture drains at the bottom. To change the type of connection you would like on your drop, click on the drop and then modify in the right sidebar. You can delete it and change its size. Typically, we'd like to keep the drop size the same as the mainline size in a one inch or three quarter inch system. For one inch, stay with a one inch drop. For a three quarter inch mainline, stay with a three quarter inch drop. This makes for similar fittings and less waste for the pipe at the end of the project. You can change the system of your drop if you had a fast pipe mainline but wanted a max line drop in flexible, you could do that. In this case, I'll switch it back to fast pipe. The outlet height, which is typically four feet off the floor, tells the program how much pipe to allow for for your drop. The main line connection for the initial installation is usually a T fitting. The program will add T's wherever you have a drop that is in line with your main pipe. The drop connects to the main line by a T or an elbow. An inline connection would be a T fitting, and at the end of a main pipe would be an elbow fitting. The program will already add it for you. On initial installation, we always recommend T's. They're very robust, and that's the way to go. Later on, you can do saddle drops, where you drill a side hole in the pipe and clamp the saddle on for additional drops you want to add later. The mount type is how you want to mount the pipe to the wall. In this case, a wall clip works great, or if you have unistrut, you can use a strut clamp. The end connection is the most critical part of this. You're gonna to wanna to choose the best outlet for your drop. In this case, we've pre-chosen a dual port outlet which has two connections. You could choose a dual port outlet with a shutoff. Notice the valve is there. You could choose a single port, or you might have an outside connection where you need to go through a wall. There's also the ability to add just a threaded adapter at the end of the pipe, which is a male thread. We recommend wall outlets for any connections that may be pulled on with air hoses. The wall outlets have mounting holes to secure them to a wall or post, and this is very safe. The manage accessories section is where you'll find things like couplers and air hoses. The program will already choose the correct quick coupler for you based on the thread size of your outlet. And in this case it was a dual port outlet so it chose two couplers needed. You might also want to add an assortment of the plugs just to have them on hand. For hose reels, choose the correct hose reel, modify it, and click save to parts list. After you have added multiple drops and have not modified any of them, you can click the apply to all drop to make them all the same if needed.